I'm working on clay board, working on a dog portrait, and I'm laying in the background. I'm trying to do a little freehand, thinking about the fur later. So I'm using feather strokes to not have a stencil look. I can erase if I go onto his body. I just want to pull out the water. My reference picture is over here. I also knock back the uh, stronger pencil lines with the eraser, uh, actually a kneaded eraser. I'll flatten this out and I'll pull and lighten those pencil lines as I go. But they're there till I need them, you know, as in this point, at this stage, I need them. So wherever I'm spraying though, I'm, I'll knock them back. Or if I'm using an opaque paint, which I am for this one, I will literally be able to hide those pencil lines with the, uh, the paints. Now some of this is out of focus circles, so I'll just go like that, circular, fill around it. And they'll be going back in with a lighter color on those blurry circles, kind of make it look like a camera. Let's just get close to the dog. This is a Micron airbrush. It's probably the best airbrush on the planet. Um, it's made to do this, the finest little work. As you can see here, these little hairlines, you could get in there and micro airbrush, as I would call it. Okay, so I'm gonna spray this in darker now. I'll show more later on. A tip dry is when a paint dries on the needle and it happens a lot with the Micron. It's a custom Micron side bottle by Awada for all my students that might wanna know. Now I'm going right on to the chin there a little bit and I'm gonna put the airbrush down at this stage and just show you, I'm air drying it too. I'll get darker, you know, second coating, like this kind of stuff. But I'm gonna put the airbrush down for a minute and one more little tibbit here. Go in and I can literally erase the mic, well it's a film of overspray that's just like a microscopic thing right on the dog's mouth and of course right here where the fur is. I can actually go and blur these making it get ready for the color of the dog later take it out so there's just a little tidbit and when I get back into the detailing I'm even going to redraw some of this more accurate then I'll show you more as I get into the face thanks for uh, checking it out bye